On Bitrise, organization members can safely log into their organizations by using the security guidelines of their SAML single sign-on provider. To successfully set up SAML SSO on Bitrise, you will need a SAML SSO provider you use, a Bitrise organization, and an organization owner. Note that SAML SSO is only available for organizations with Orgalit subscription. Today, we will only cover the basics, so let us know if you need more specific videos, for example, how to set up specific SAML SSO providers on Bitrise, such as Okta or G Suite. For the time being, make sure you check out our docs, where detailed guides are available on these different SAML SSO providers. Now let's see how to set up SAML SSO for your Bitrise organization and invite organization members to enable their SAML SSO connection. Go to your organization's single sign-on tab on bitrise.io. Copy the single sign-on URL. You will need this URL to add Bitrise on your SAML SSO provider site. Log in to your own SAML SSO provider. Add Bitrise using the copied single sign-on URL. Add the generated SSO credentials to the identity provider sign-on URL and certificate fields on Bitrise single sign-on tab. Make sure the entire signature certificate is copied into the certificate field. Click the Configure SSO button. Click Review Users. You can see that SAML SSO is disabled. It means that organization members listed here are yet to enable SAML SSO using the email they all get from Bitrise. So let's check your mailbox connected to Bitrise. You are looking for an email with the title Single Sign-on has been enabled for the organization on Bitrise. In the meantime, make sure you logged into Bitrise in the usual way in another tab of the same browser. Click the Sign in via SSO button or copy-paste the URL to a new tab of the same browser. This step is crucial because if one member does not enable their connection, the organization owner won't be able to enforce SAML SSO on the organization. We will take care of this at a later step. Now you are redirected to your SAML SSO provider's site where you have to provide your email address associated with your Bitrise organization. Make sure that you use the same email address on your SAML SSO provider site and with your Bitrise account that is part of the Bitrise organization. If the two addresses are different, you will get an error message. You are directed to the Allow Organization name to sign you in Bitrise page. Click Authorize if you trust the organization to control your Bitrise account sign-in process. Click Don't Allow if the invitation email is from an untrusted source. If all went well, you should be landing on your organization's Bitrise dashboard. Now let's see your SAML SSO status. Click Account Settings, then select your organization. If you select People, you will see your name and the enabled SAML SSO status. You can always check here if other organization members have already enabled their SAML SSO status. Now let's go back to the Single Sign-On tab and see how we can enforce SAML SSO on the organization. Enforcing means that organization members must use SAML SSO to log into their Bitrise account. Toggle the Enforce SAML SSO switch to the right and hit Save Changes. Log out and then click the Login, then the Login with SSO button. The only information you have to provide on the Initiate Single Sign-On page is your organization name. Click Continue with SSO. You are successfully logged into your organization's dashboard again. You might wonder what happens if not all organization members have enabled their SAML SSO and the organization owner tries to enforce it. As you can see on the People tab, the organization member has not enabled SAML SSO, while our demo user, who is the organization owner, has already done it. So let's see if the organization owner can enforce SAML SSO by clicking the single sign-on tab toggling the switch and saving changes. Yep, as expected, first all organization members have to enable their SAML SSO by finding the email from Bitrise and following the instructions there. If, for any reason, the organization owner decides to delete a member from the organization and SAML SSO has been activated on the organization, you have to remove that person on Bitrise and on the SAML SSO provider's site as well. Click the X next to an organization member's name on the People tab and hit Yes to remove that member. Do not forget to go to your SAML SSO provider's site and disable the organization member there too. Should you fail to do it, the org member will be able to re-authenticate again to Bitrise 
using the established IDP connection. And that's it! We hope you found this tutorial helpful. Feel free to ask questions in the comments and visit our Dev Center for more information on SAML SSO on Bitrise.